Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to use the modeling tools to create a basic roof. And this comes up when you're trying to create a set. So a lot of times there are walls available to us, but there's no roofs. And you don't want to take a wall and scale it up. You want to model a roof for that particular unique geometry. Otherwise the material will stretch when you apply it. So what I have here is I'm just in the third person template and I have the starter content and from that starter content I grab some walls and put them together like this. So this is what we're going to model. You'll be in selection mode when you start. You come up here and you go into modeling and make sure you're on the create tab. You go to box and the box is going to come in and you can roughly place it right there. And then if we come down, let me slow down a little bit. I have my snapping on 5 and my rotation at 45 and I have galing snapping off. And we can just grab that little gizmo there and just click and drag. And it's going in 5 unit increments so I can get it right where it needs to go. So it's right on the corner right like that. So that's great. Now once that's done I can simply go to model and I'm going to go to accept and then I'm going to select here and go to the poly edit group and you'll notice now that I can select on the sides of the polygon and this allows me to almost do like an automatic extrusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this top one and with this tool I'm just going to pull down, drag down and I make, can make it any thickness I want and then let's say I want it like about that thick and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this polygon face and then I'm going to just grab that handle there and pull all the way out to here and line it up there and then I'll do the same thing over here I'll select this polygon face there and click and drag it right to here and it's still snapping get down here a little closer and you can make this any size you really want to make it and I can go accept and just like that now we have a custom roof for our creation I'm gonna show you one more thing before we go now let's say it looks like I came up a little short there on the edge there so I could extend that out if I want so as a matter of fact we can do that right now so let me click on the poly edit group again I'll select this and I'll just go ahead and pull that out a little bit and I'll go ahead and accept that. So now let's say I had to put a roof on a building that wasn't a perfect square and maybe it was a couple squares combined or it was irregular in some way. For this particular example, extend this out but to create like a cover for this entrance way right here. What I can do for that is go into poly edit group make sure the object selected I can go to insert edge loop here and you'll notice when I drag along the red line this green line comes up and essentially what I'm doing is I'm dividing the geometry into sections now so here I can select there and select there and now I can go done I can go accept too but what I've done is I've created extra geometry in here so I go back in the poly edit tool, I can select this face here and then I can go to extrude oops, extrude and just pull it out here like that. And I can just keep repeating that process for however I want to deform my roof or whatever it is that I'm doing. What I was going to tell you was the advantage of doing this is that if we come in here to materials and let's say I get a brick and drag it on here, you'll notice that Although the bricks are big and need to be tiled down to be maybe more realistic size, they're not stretched. That's why you want to create these assets with the modeling tool and not grab an existing asset and stretch it. Because then when you put the material on it, the material will stretch as well. Here all I need to do is reduce the size of this. But then I'm going to have a problem with tiling, the appearance of tiling too. So there's things you can do to address all that. But that's a separate tutorial on materials. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.